Hello and welcome to the show. Today I have a very two special guest uh, with me. But before that, I think the community radio, uh, you might have heard about it. It's a, it's a medium of communication which is utilized by a people who lives within a close proximity. Uh, they share a socio-cultural heritage and speak one language or the dialect. Interestingly, community radio was not legal in India till 2002. However, the community radio is now gaining a popularity as a tool of development communication. In our country, there were campaigns by the advocates, academicians and the members of various communities across the world to get it legalized. It was 1995, you can say it was the turning point when the Honorable Supreme Court said that airways are public property and must be used for the public good, however with a reasonable restriction. It was to expand the scope of fundamental right as enriched in Article 19 of Constitution, which talks about freedom of speech and expression. This decision laid the foundation of community radio in India. In December 2002, the government approved a policy for grant of licenses for setting up the community radio station only in well-established educational institute like IITs, IM. On February 1, 2004, the Anna FM station was launched by the student Anna Community University. Again in 2006, the new policy of community radio allowed agriculture universities, educational institute and the civil society institutes such as NGOs to set up the community radio stations. Since then, there has been no looking back and more and more community stations are being set up across the country. Let's know more about this new medium of communication from our two special guests. Our first guest is Dr. R. Shridhar, which is uh, known to be the father of community radio in India. He is a media expert and community radio practitioner. And presently, he is an, a professor emeritus at APJ University. He was also in Department of Science and Technology and has been served in All India Radio as well. Our second guest is uh, Mrs. Pooja Murada, who is the Director Communication of SM uh, Segal Foundation, which runs a uh, community radio, which is called Alphaze uh, Meva. Both of you are welcome in our show. And uh, uh, my first question is to Dr. Shridhar. Uh, Dr. Shridhar, my, my, uh, it's my query actually, when we have this All India Radio, which has more than 95 coverage of uh, geographical region of the country, then why we have this medium of new medium of communication? Thank you, Dr. Taghi. It's uh, very nice of you to organize the uh, uh, program in uh, TD Science Channel. Mm -hmm. To the public service broadcaster, we are getting an opportunity to talk about community media. Yeah. Community radio is a third tier of broadcasting because mm -hmm. I worked in All India Radio also. I was working in other mm -hmm. radio stations. Mm -hmm. All India Radio covers, All India Radio itself had a concept of local radios mm -hmm. in the 1980s. Mm -hmm. The first, the LRS, they call it. It's mm -hmm. for a district level or taluk level. Mm -hmm. First was in Nagarkoil, second was in Kota, Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. So some of All India Radio thought of making being local, there mm -hmm. no uh, need for a national uh, news release and mm -hmm. the con concept was there a lot of somehow it did not pick up in the uh, government medium. You mean to say there was earlier an attempt also but attempt, yes, attempt uh, in a different way? In a different way. Okay. Uh, actually if you take uh, Delhi, Bombay, Chennai, Calcutta, mm -hmm. Nagpur radio mm -hmm. station, mm -hmm. it will be having a 1 megawatt power. Okay. It will be covering around 300 or 400 kilometers of radius. Okay. okay. We had short wave radios. Uh -huh. And then um, there are smaller radio stations like, you know, Agra or whatever you, you call it in mm -hmm. uh, Jaipur and etc., mm -hmm. which were a little power, le po less power. Mm -hmm. But they also had a concept in 19, um, what I call it is 1970s, mm -hmm. when Mrs. Uh, Gandhi was the Prime Minister. Mm -hmm. They wanted to make radio a local because. Mm -hmm. Uh, there must be voice to the people. Mm -hmm. So he called it the local radio stations. Mm -hmm. 
and they started it with a 1 kilowatt power. So that means the history is uh, not very recent, it goes back. Uh, but that uh, was government controlled and uh -huh. institution controlled here. Okay. The present community radio uh -huh. is not controlled by the government. Uh, okay. So uh, I think I will ask this question mm -hmm. to Puja because when you say the community radio, uh, what do you mean by the community and who is the community for that radio? Yes, very important question Mr. Tyagi. Uh, community, uh, as the word says mm -hmm. in community radio, is mm -hmm. anyone who's listening mm -hmm. to your uh, to the station. Mm -hmm. So wherever the community radio is reaching out mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. whatever is your broadcast range and whosoever comes in that range mm -hmm. uh, can be your community. Okay. So for a uh, NGO uh -huh. station, it is, uh, you know, the community of the villages, mm -hmm. the number of villages uh, mm -hmm. who are uh, getting the range mm -hmm. for an educational institution, it mm -hmm. could be a student's faculty and mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. the community outside the institution. Okay, okay. So, so uh, you can say, uh, if I say this word, like it, it, it is a decentralized approach for of communication. I can yes. give you a small example. Yeah. If you call it AIR and the elephant, mm -hmm. community mm -hmm. radio is a mosquito or an ant. <laughs> I think it's that a very is a good uh, uh, analogy, analogy to explain Community that. radio is only yes. a 50 watts, uh -huh. which is just little more than a tube light. Uh -huh. It okay. consumes. Uh -huh. Whereas AR is 1000 watts, uh -huh. mega, megawatts, uh -huh. kilowatts, etc. Uh -huh. So it's a very small range. It's like a local newspaper. Mm -hmm. yeah, but to see that, I just have, uh, it's again my, my uh, mm -hmm. query about like, then what was the initial, you know, hiccups in, in, in bringing that community radio? I think it was already popular in uh, African country. Before that, it became, uh, you know, Latin so man. common see, in the India. government of India, yeah. actually, organizations like, you know, school and civil society were asking for a community radio after the Supreme Court judgment. Okay. The airways are to be made free. <laughs> the government uh, did not jump immediately uh -huh. into making it free. Okay. Slowly they started uh, uh, liberalizing it. Okay. First they gave it uh, as a commercial radio. Mm -hmm. So that no news, uh, no other information, only mm -hmm. songs. Mm -hmm. Let the people be entertained and mm -hmm. let us see how mm -hmm. it works. Mm -hmm. Then they also started an educational radio okay. called Gyanwani. Uh -huh. Then the third step government as a part, part of liberalization, mm -hmm. they said, okay, let us give a community radio a smaller in power yeah. to c campuses okay, in 2002, okay. Okay. but make the campuses also to use the community around it. Around it. Okay. okay. And the fourth stage is, mm -hmm. They opened it to okay, a civil society organization. Mm -hmm. So it was a part of a slow liberalization because they had a problem mm -hmm. as a Kargil attack. Mm -hmm. And in African that countries, means, yeah, there was some security parliament reason. attack, yeah. security yeah. reasons. Yeah. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. And in African countries, there are good examples and bad mm -hmm. examples. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Dr. Sridhar, uh, Puja ji, I think uh, I'll, I'll just stop you here for mm -hmm. some moment because mm -hmm. uh, I have to take a break and we'll be back after this small break. India Science is an internet-based science TV channel initiated by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, implemented and managed by Vigyan Prasar. India Science on the URL www.indiascience.in is a bilingual channel with content in Hindi and English. It can be accessed on any internet-enabled device. This video platform is dedicated to science and technology knowledge dissemination with a strong commitment to spreading scientific awareness, especially with Indian perspectives, ethos and cultural context. The India Science mobile app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store and Apple Store. Welcome back after the break, uh, Dr. Sridhar. You are considered to be the father of uh, you know the community radio because you were the first who set up this community radio in Anna University. So, what were the initial challenges and uh, what kind of uh, you know the formality you complied with before you got you got a license and you start the community radio 
first in of all, Indian university. Yeah. First of all, I would like to clarify yeah. that I had the fortune or opportunity of launching the first licensed community radio yeah. station. Uh, that's why you are called the father oh, of community okay. radio in okay. India. I had as far as India is concerned, yeah. But in fact, I had also the opportunity mm -hmm. of launching India's first educational community educational radio. Okay. Parallel to the mm -hmm. commercial FM stations. Okay. The same day, same mm -hmm. time, we mm -hmm. started in Ganwani in Allahabad. So mm -hmm. I knew that, mm -hmm. and I was also behind the scene, mm -hmm. uh, informally working with the Community Radio Policy of 2002. Okay. So when I went away to mm -hmm. an university, I thought, since I knew the process, mm -hmm. I will mm -hmm. let me try my luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But at that time, the government was mm -hmm. not very clear. Mm -hmm. So we had to go to 30 different departments to get a license. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, today you get a GPS on your mobiles, mm -hmm. smartphones. Mm -hmm. To get a GPS, mm -hmm. I had to go to a geospatial mm -hmm. uh, center of DST mm -hmm. in Dehradun mm -hmm. and wait for the three months, mm -hmm. pay 10,000 rupees mm -hmm. to get a GPS of my Anna University radio station. Okay, okay. So that was a challenge. We uh -huh. had to go through state government. Uh -huh. We had to go through the chief ministers. Uh -huh. And um, that, that means there were a lot of procedures. A lot hurdles. of procedures. Uh -huh. And in 2006, mm -hmm. of course, we had a lot of um, workshops in uh, Anna University, mm -hmm. national, international. Mm -hmm. And then we made the government understand to liberalize, liberalize. Mm -hmm. And then they made it into five steps. Mm -hmm. From 30 steps, mm -hmm. it was reduced to five steps. 30 to five. 30 to five. Wow. Now still, mm -hmm. this five has become 10 now. Okay, but again it has gone up. <laughs> Ten. Okay. But now we are trying to reduce it. Okay. Okay. The government is trying to reduce it in the 2020. Uh -huh. uh, but now the procedure is Simplified. Uh, theoretically okay. easy. Okay. You should get a license in 90 days. That's okay. what the law says. Okay. Okay. There are three categories, uh -huh. educational institutions. Uh -huh. Uh, now they have liberalized the educational institutions of government. Government. Yeah. Government owned uh -huh. or panchayat board or okay. university okay. or government high school. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. They will get a single window clearance. Okay. They will apply. Uh -huh. And if there is a frequency available, uh -huh. that is spectrum they available, skill. they will be getting it. Okay. Second is agricultural institutes, uh -huh. CSA, ICIR uh -huh. institutes. Uh -huh. They also got a thing. Uh -huh. A civil society organization, now yeah. they have put some restrictions. It mm -hmm. should come through the district administration mm -hmm. and it goes through the Ministry of Home Affairs for yeah. Internal Security, okay. yeah. go to Ministry of Defense. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. I just I, I want to Pooja ji like what was your experience because you were also started your uh, you know the community radio uh, very yes. very uh, like in the beginning itself 2000 yeah so we uh, for al faze mewat uh, we actually started the journey uh -huh. we got the license and started it in 2012 uh -huh. But we, uh, you know, the process started at least four years before that. That means it took four years for it, you to get... It took get us uh, almost four years. Okay. Uh, so once the application, uh -huh. we of course decided and we uh, submitted the application uh -huh. along with the demand draft. Uh -huh. uh, the screening took time yeah, yeah, yeah. before you know mm -hmm. we get mm -hmm. we got the uh, letter of intent, mm -hmm. and then uh, the application went to. Uh, from Ministry of, uh, you know, Defense to mm -hmm. Home to HRD to I think it was a learning experience for the government also because it was a new medium and uh, it was a question of, uh, you know, the radio yes. frequency where there are a lot of security concerns were also mm -hmm. involved. So government uh, might have also taken its own time its own to time. understand the significance of, uh, you know, uh, it is still, I think, yeah, uh, there are a lot of applicants who are mm -hmm. still taking the same amount of time. Okay. There Three years. Uh, experience for government. Uh -huh. Now they have been liberalized. Now there is a subsidy. Mm -hmm. From the government. Government. 75% of uh -huh. the cost, initial cost. Subject that to a maximum. Installation, uh, equipment uh, and everything. 7.5 lakhs. Yeah. He is given a subsidy to by the government okay. after you uh -huh. launch the radio yeah. station. So First it's a reimbursement. First, reimbursement. you okay. need to have Means that like initial of money. investment comes uh, through the community yeah. itself, uh -huh. and then. But there is a one more. second thing is. Yeah. Ninety percent is this uh, reimbursement as far as northeast is concerned. 
Okay. Not so, this day, yeah, um, special status has been given to them. Yeah. But here is one question again, mm -hmm. uh, because you know, we are talking about the community radio. It is like by the community for the community. That means uh, the uh, nowadays is no more voluntary effort because we have seen that change. People uh, like the people you which we want to engage into the different uh, aspect of community radio because uh, producing the content part itself, where you no, required no, certain I, I, I have, professionalism. Uh, so, how to ensure the sustainability of community, community radio, radio no? is not professional radio. Uh -huh. It's an amateur radio. Okay. True. Uh, I have my experience. Two things. Okay. One is with, with the own Puja Murada's radio station uh -huh. Alpha Si Mevat in Nu. Uh -huh. How it's being still run by the community uh -huh. with a very minimum payment that they are uh -huh. making from their foundation. Uh, similarly, I have seen it in a PhD College of Technology uh -huh. recently. Both of us have seen. Uh -huh. uh, 107 volunteers. Let's have the first and experience in terms of sustainability of a community radio. How was your experience? Suppose if you don't have the backup of uh, your foundation, foundation which mm -hmm. has invested initial money, how difficult it is for any civil society group to start so the I, community uh, radio? I actually uh, interact with a lot of community radios mm -hmm. on the ground who mm -hmm. are uh, struggling. They are mm -hmm. the, from the community, mm -hmm. uh, you know, CBOs, community-based mm -hmm. organizations. Sustainability is not easy it's for not community. Easy. Yes, it's definitely okay. not easy for community radios. Mm -hmm. uh, if you do not have a uh, big pockets, deep pockets, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. have a, you know, support of a foundation or the license organization, organization. Mm -hmm. uh, DAVP, even mm -hmm. if you're impaneled, mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, there is, as compared to the uh, number of campaigns that a commercial radio mm -hmm. gets, mm -hmm. community radio do not get yeah, that not kind get. of, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, commercials. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, so financial sustainability mm -hmm. we are struggling with. Mm -hmm. uh, what about this, the content there generation are, part? So content, yeah, that's what uh, the... When we have a community radio, hmm. it is also a buy-in that at least 50% of our programs will be participatory yeah. in approach. Yes. So w that actually ensures that our content sustainability yeah. is there. Yeah. Uh, and apart from that, there are a lot of local, uh, you know, you engage with local folk, local art, yeah. which we encourage yeah. in community radios. Uh -huh. That also brings uh, content sustainability. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But your earlier question about uh, by and for the community, yeah. I think that is the strongest pillar of community radio, radio. which differs yeah. us uh -huh. from uh, uh -huh. public radio, uh -huh. from uh -huh. all India radio and commercial radio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one medium which is actually going to the people at the last mile yeah. and uh, understanding mm -hmm. their needs. Mm -hmm. They are the one, it's their medium. Mm -hmm. So they are coming forward and mm -hmm. using that platform mm -hmm. to share, mm -hmm. whether it's their uh, art mm -hmm. or uh, their feelings or what their challenges yeah. are yeah. or their achievements. Okay. So there is a mutual yeah. learning uh -huh. that they, uh, that is generated uh -huh. through the content. As far as content, the five years, six years old radio station, mm -hmm. They have created enough people's awareness, uh -huh. and enough talent locally to create content. Okay. Our radio station is run by an illiterate person. I was mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. going through some paper. Mm -hmm. The she has given an interview saying that how she organizes the mouse and the, uh, do the editing also. Uh, uh, Dr. Sridhar, uh, Puja, I have to stop you for a moment because I have to take a break. We'll be back again after uh, this small break. India Science is an internet-based science TV channel initiated by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, implemented and managed by Vigyan Prasar. India Science on the URL www.indiascience.in is a bilingual channel with content in Hindi and English. It can be accessed on any internet-enabled device. This video platform is dedicated to science and technology knowledge dissemination with a strong commitment to spreading scientific awareness, especially with Indian perspectives, ethos and cultural context. The India Science mobile app can be downloaded from the Google Play Store and Apple Store.
welcome back uh, dr shridhar just and both of you i think you can reply uh, this uh, question uh, what is the current status of community radio uh, in terms of its uh, uh, financial sustainability and content sustainability and the number of uh, community radio which has been set up and how is they are working see as on date yeah if my statistics is correct 260 plus radio stations are functioning mm-hmm. 2004 was the first radio station and 2008 was the first uh, civil society run radio station uh, but there are 100 more stations are mm-hmm. in the various stages of coming within mm-hmm. a year or so mm-hmm. and uh, the original target was 4000 radio station this mm-hmm. 4000 was not written anywhere mm-hmm. 4000 was based on the mapping of the country with respect to the frequency okay there is a certain frequency mm-hmm. reserved for community radio mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. commercial radio there okay. is a separate frequency yeah. uh-huh. 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 everybody uses the army mm-hmm. navy mm-hmm. uses it but sustainability can be divided into four types mm-hmm. one is content sustainability yes. they are almost reaching it yeah. human resources they are able to manage volunteers mm-hmm. train people mm-hmm. local skills development mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but financial sustainability is a big question mark okay technical sustainability technical sustainability technical okay. sustainability is another what problem. do you mean by technical sustainability See, no? you have a 50 watt transmitter okay. you have an antenna okay. you must have a tower uh-huh. you need a tower Uh, if something goes wrong uh-huh. in the so let's have from puja mm-hmm. how you are managing this technical challenge then so all the four uh, sustainability aspects that yeah. uh, dr sridhar mentioned uh-huh. uh, in community radio uh, at least uh, in my experience what we have done we haven't created specialized roles okay for anyone multiple role the, is being played so by each, the people yeah, which each of have. our uh, yeah. uh, community volunteer okay. and uh, person who's mm-hmm. at the radio mm-hmm. is uh doing the content mm-hmm. is the uh, rj is also the script writer is also the okay. editor and also handling the uh, uh, equipment okay so they are trained mm-hmm. they are learning on the job mm-hmm. uh, of course uh, when the problems come when uh, that was the real spirit of commentary radio i think when uh, the equipment yeah. falters yeah. Uh, they on the phone uh-huh. because most of the transmitter people and okay. uh, you know uh-huh. they are sitting not uh, uh-huh. in the uh, village uh-huh. but somewhere in delhi uh-huh. so on the phone they are getting trained then ha- that how to fix that problem okay. so on the job training makes uh, them is, uh, uh, also sustain okay. they if they are able to sustain the uh-huh. equipment okay i think so the last question yeah yeah, 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 yeah. i want to uh-huh. take it up but today mm-hmm. the whole world is going digital mm mm-hmm. 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 I don't know when the India government is going to declare that they have already made TV digital, mm-hmm. set-top boxes, mm-hmm. cable wireless, everybody mm-hmm. digital. Mm-hmm. They are going to make some year, mm-hmm. 2025 mm-hmm. or 2030, as a cut-off year to close analog. Okay. So the moment it goes to digital, already all India radio is working on DRM radio station, mm-hmm. 70 places. Mm-hmm. So DRM means you can have very low cost mm-hmm. one radio. strict infrastructure for mm-hmm. radio station can share that's why i was uh, trying to ask my last question to mm-hmm. both of you uh, especially how you see the the future of community radio when we have a competitor like the fm commercial fm and the internet radio is also emerging on the on this scenario according to me i think there is uh, because i work at grassroots mm-hmm. uh, there is still a large information divide Uh, uh, in the uh, you Indian know, in the scenario, villages, if in Indian say. scenario, yeah. there is still a large information okay. divide. Uh-huh. Uh, the telephones, hmm. the connections have reached yeah. almost, uh, yes, almost everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's time that uh, community radio mm-hmm. also integrate. Mm-hmm. Uh, their work with the technology the content okay. there are 22 main languages but mm-hmm. there are over 1600 1700 dialects i think officially more than that more than that, that. i think more it's more than, than uh, 4000 something like i read somewhere yeah, yeah dialects so looking at those dialects uh-huh. and uh, having content uh-huh. in the uh, language that is understood by the people okay. whether it's a tribal community uh-huh. or a villager uh-huh. or anywhere yeah. in the uh, you know country mm-hmm. So if we are uh, you know community if you are broadcasting through the mm-hmm. FM uh, <coughs> you know transmission and mm-hmm. also integrating it through uh, mobile technology okay that 
actually uh, i feel is the requirement of the time or if i should say like uh, the country with which with such a humongous diversity like india it will always remain a relevant uh, you know media no, no. radio so the last word from you radio is, I wind up radio the is not dead yeah uh, as early as one year back a commercial fm was sold at 160 crores oh. okay. in 2004 it uh-huh. was 1 crore in delhi okay One crore. That means commercial people are not fools. They mm-hmm. invest one sixty crore. Mm-hmm. So radio is still relevant, mm-hmm. but it should be multitasking, mm-hmm. multiple medium, convergent technology, mm-hmm. and ultimately there is a possibility mm-hmm. with the DRM etc. Mm-hmm. A visual radio. Okay, Dr. Shridhar, uh, Pooja, thank you very much for being on our show. It was really a very great experience about knowing many things about the community radio, and uh, thank you very much once again. Thank you, uh, thank you, being thank a part you. of the show. Yeah. Community radio are a great way to communicate within a local community or a region. If you have any further question on this subject or would like to give us some feedback. please write to us on the mail address on the screen thank you very much and goodbye